Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share my Cheesecake Herbalife recipe. This is the strawberry cheesecake. And I just wanna start by thanking each and every one of you for the continued support, even though I have been a little away from YouTube lately. Thank you guys so much for purchasing my Herbalife recipe book, my cookbook, and everything else that you've been seeing on Facebook and Instagram, and I just appreciate each and every one of you. So now we're gonna start with this recipe. You're going to need a half a cup of hot water. So I just went ahead and warmed up my kettle water here. My kettle, this one I get a lot of questions about. You can find it on my Amazon website. The link is below in the description of this video if you wanna check out my Amazon storefront with a bunch of the little things that I use around the house and in the kitchen and of course in my videos. So now I have my Herbalife Strawberry Cheesecake Formula One. Now, excuse me if I'm a little you know, I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute since we've moved. You're going to do four scoops of your Formula One. Um, now, look, you can do this recipe for any flavor. This is just a basic recipe. You can do pumpkin spice for Thanksgiving and top it off with some walnuts. You can do chocolate with some chocolate chips if you like chocolate. I just happen to do the strawberry cheesecake one. And again, that is four scoops of the Formula One. And then you're gonna grab your vanilla protein and you're also gonna do four scoops of the protein as well. I will make shorter videos, the reels, if you guys want. Um, but this one is just my welcome back to YouTube video. It's been a while. We had to move. I had to come up with a new, um, what's it called, routine because, of course, we moved to a new city. So everything is just new for me and I'm starting all over and I'm back for you guys now. So now that we got our Formula One and we have our protein, this is gelatin and it's the unflavored gelatin. I got this from Target. I'm sure you can get it from any grocery store. I just don't know the quantity it would have, but this one here actually had a few packages in it. You just need one package and you're gonna just rip that bad boy open and pour the whole thing into your mixing bowl as well with your products. And then we're going to move on to the next, which is cream cheese, because of course we're making cheesecake. So why would we not add cream cheese? This is a whole block I obviously got from Walmart with the great value on there. Again, you can get cheese, cream cheese from anywhere, and you're going to just use half of it. So if you look at the cream cheese block, it has measurements already. So all you have to do is grab a knife. You don't even have to open the package. Just grab a knife and cut it straight in half while it's still in the package. You'll have a nice clean cut and then you're just gonna open that up and put it right into your mixing bowl. So if you haven't already, turn on notifications, like, comment, and subscribe because I am back for good and I'm going to continue with uploading my videos. I know it's been a little off lately, but again, like I said a million times already, I'm not going anywhere, YouTube. So go ahead and drop that whole half a block. I have to like undo it here and then just drop it right on in there and watch it flop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Um, I do know some people who mix these products inside of a blender, but I just chose to go ahead and use my hand mixer. And of course, when you use a hand mixer, if it's thick, it's gonna ride up on it. So I just have my silicone spatula here to clean off the mixer to make sure that everything goes there. So now I have my small little cheesecake shell. This is the graham cracker one. Got it at Target. You can get these anywhere and they have all different kinds. I actually bought a walnut one to make a pecan one for pumpkin pecan, whatever, for Thanksgiving. But they have all different kinds. They have, you know, ones with less sugar and all that stuff. This is just the regular graham cracker crust. And you're just going to put the whole bowl right in there and just smear it around to your liking. Make it as even as you can. It is pretty thick already, um, but of course, I would suggest to warm it up. I mean, put it in the, the fridge because it'll be better that way. But this is my yum crumbs. This is the strawberry cheesecake one, of course. 
But the best part about it is this is the new one that they have added to their website, which is sugar free. Before I was using Yum Crumbs, a lot of people are like, why are you using that? You're adding blah, 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 blah. But anyways, these are sugar free for those of you who want sugar free. And I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle it across the whole top of the cheesecake and then i'm just gonna push it into the batter that way when i cut it they don't fall everywhere but i'm gonna push it into the batter and then i'm going to put it in the fridge i would leave it in there for about 45 minutes or you can freezer blast it put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and this is look how pretty it is so this is before putting it in the fridge and I just wanted you to get a close-up on those beautiful yum crumbs, which, by the way, they have so many flavors and so many different things. I will put that in the link below as well with my Amazon storefront. And, of course, if you're looking for Herbalife products and you want that membership discount and um, what's this called? The, the membership when you awards program. That's what it is. If you want a part of the Herbalife Rewards Program, hit me up, leave a message below, find me on Facebook, Instagram, send me a message. It might take me a while to get back to you because I've noticed a lot of people that are sending me messages are being sent to like filtered messages and filtered, filtered messages and spam folders. And I don't know why they just don't let you choose what's a spam and what should be filtered. But anyways, going to go ahead and cut the cake so you can see not cake cheesecake so you can see how thick it is and you just pull it right up and it's like actual cheesecake and it tastes amazing and it's protein packed it's healthy nutrition so you know the holidays are here you can spice it up a little bit add some sugar-free whipped cream and a strawberry and go ahead and take that first bite and let me know if you like it you guys, you can do this any flavor for the holidays, guilt-free. Let me know if you tried the recipe in the comments below. Hit me up on any of these social medias, Instagram, Facebook. I have a TikTok. Don't really use it that much. Probably should start using it more. Hit the subscribe button, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you so much for welcoming me back to YouTube, guys. Bye.